for us in USC. This is an exciting time right now. Um, next week can't come fast enough. I know our players, our coaches are extremely excited to get back to work and um, get back on the practice field. You know, we had a great spring coming out of spring. Really felt that we had developed a number of our players. They had improved uh, in all three phases of our game, offense, defense, and special teams. And as we go into this fall camp, we're going to need to do that. We've got to maximize every player on our roster and how they can contribute to help us win and get ready to beat Hawaii. Just went back and made a decision that it's in the best interest of our football team for me to continue to call plays. And that's not just on-field performance. Uh, I think that's with relationships with the players, too. I think when you call plays, you have a unique relationship with your offensive players, especially your skilled guys, because you're dealing with them so much. And as we look at where we need to improve, um, it's not some things that maybe you guys think. It's things that we believe within our program are very easy to look at of what happened last year, not about what someone was wearing or any of that stuff. It's about not turning the football over. It's about playing better on third down. It's about playing much better in the red zone than we did last year and then tackling a lot better on defense. So those are the things that matter. All three guys are going to go in with a shot. I think all three guys are going to be really good uh, quarterbacks at USC at some point of their career. And it's going to be an exciting competition. All three are very different in the, in the style that they play, but also they're all uh, all three are very good quarterbacks, and it's going to be the player that's going to help us win the most.